staples like maize, rice, and wheat feed the world, providing a vast majority of the calories we eat. These crops, have in the recent past, threatened the cultivation of indigenous grains. In many regions, access to them has become a major challenge. There is definitely a need to come up with sustainable alternatives to maize, such as sorghum, millet, and raboko, which are not only delicious and nutritious, but also resilient to drought, pests, and diseases. Indigenous grains are part of the rich cultural heritage of Zimbabwe, and they have helped support the livelihoods of millions of smallholder farmers, especially the youth and the women. Climate change, market pressure, and the lack of adequate support from the government are making it harder for the farmers to grow and sell their indigenous grains. This is bad news for food security, biodiversity, and social justice. That's why we need your help. We need you to join us in advocating for the promotion of indigenous grain production in Zimbabwe. We need you to raise your voice and demand that the authorities recognize the value of these indigenous crops and provide more resources and incentives for their cultivation and consumption. We need you to spread the word and educate others about the benefits of indigenous grains. We need you to support the farmers who are keeping this ancient wisdom alive and share their stories with the world. We need you to act now before it's too late. Indigenous grains are not just food, they are a way of life. Indigenous grains are our past. They are our present. They are our future. Let's work together to, to protect, protect and celebrate Zimbabwe's indigenous, indigenous grains. grains.